<laughs> oh, I know what happened. Okay, hi everyone. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, this is our testing session for today. Um, I'm going to paste in the chat window here the worksheet that will give you the information about the version of Node that we're running today. Uh, point you to binaries and a Docker image, uh, your choice. Um, we've got a, a group of regulars, so please remember to run with um, our doctor installed and running. That helps us look at logs together. Um, I'm sharing my screen and we can look on the right hand side. We're looking at the um, Kibana, the, the log aggregator, and looking at our validators, and we'll see everybody pop up there. And then on the left-hand side, you're looking at my node, and I'm trying to get organized here to deploy something so I can make sure that I have the right key in, in place. But there is, you're welcome to go ahead, and so ready here means uh, you've installed today's version, you are running our doctor, you have selected a validator key, um, and you, once you have done all those things, you're welcome to go ahead and connect to the bootstrap. That bootstrap address is um, in the worksheet. And so I see Tomas joining, excellent. Oh, I didn't deploy anything. Oh my God, it's gonna be a long day. Great. And Nutzipper has joined. Oh, you're shutting down. Well, <laughs> it, it was good for a moment. My board was used. Ah. Uh, hey there, drawer. Hey, Joshy. He can't. Hi, Kelly. Good morning. Hi, everyone. Um, here's the link to the worksheet. If you are planning to run a node, please make sure you're running the correct version. Please also run with our doctor. Uh, Jim. Oh, thanks, Joshi. All right, so um, both Tomas and Nutzipper, if you would, so you're up and running. Uh, if you would like, um, what we'd like to do is uh, make sure that number one, that you are catching up to the state, which is, should be fairly small because uh, I just, just restarted the test not a few minutes ago. So it looks like block nine. And so once you, um, are caught up, if you would like to do, go through the exercise of bonding, um, you could do that in my node. Um, I wanna be really careful about this today because I wanna really understand what, what happens. So um, here is my, I'm putting my IP address in the chat. 
Um, and I think the thing to do is for you to um, do what we typically do, which is to deploy to my node. Uh, but I would also like you to do the queue my node to propose and note the block, the blocks that your contracts go into. Because I'm curious to track those those blocks and and against your success at being a bonded validator who can successfully propose. So you can drop those blocks in the chat. That would be helpful. Um, and then we'll we'll go from there. So you want us to both propose and deploy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think that's the thing to do rather than me try and track what's ready. Jim, I pasted a snippet of code which I used to bootstrap uh, our node on my VPS. Maybe this oh, will cool. be. Thank you. All right, so if you are if you're joining, we have we're now up to twelve blocks. Um, one block nine. Excellent. Kelly, can you hint me with the how do I check if uh, my public key is inside the block? Maybe there is a some snippet of code. I, I don't. Can... I don't know of a snippet of code. My hacky way is to do a show block with the block hash and then search the the tuple space. Okay. With mm -hmm. Control F. Yeah, I know. I'm sure there is an elegant way. I'm not elegant. Tomash, have you caught up to the state? I'm on 12. Oh, excellent. Uh, I'm trying to bond. OK. Let me check. I'm on block 13. Perfect. So I think I can. And I have multiple for block 13s, but that's OK. So if you're just watching and following along, you can see on my node that I just received um, a deploy. And that is. I deployed my forward file. Perfect. Is that it? Uh, is that it? No, because now you need to propose. No, I, I just. Um... Oh, yeah. It, I deployed my forward file, forward. Okay. So should you deploy uh, before I should uh, deploy, uh, should you propose before I deploy my bonds file? Yeah. 
so I should wait for you to propose. Okay. Should I see something related to my public key after you propose now? Or? No. Uh, I don't believe so. I think it's the after the second step. Okay. All right. So you're. That's you. So okay, I'm deploying. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm proposing. Thank you. Okay. Where's my book? Thanks. Uh, I sent my bones file. Okay. Give me just a second. All right, so Nutzipper, you should be bonded in this block here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, so if you're watching and following along, we have what you're looking at on the right side of the screen is a visualization of the validators. This is me down here, 191C. And then we have our two other testnet validators that are auto-proposing. And I believe this is the block that NutZipper is where he bonded. And Tomas, did you do your second deploy? Oh, wait, I see. Yeah. yeah. And so That's you're, cool. okay, I got it. I see my public key in that F12 block. Okay, fantastic. So why don't you give um, proposing <coughs> on your own node and deploying from your own node a go? Uh, Let's see if we can pick up Tomas's block here. All right, so here is Nutzipper's block with his bond. Here is Tamasha's with his bond. Uh, 
Chloe, can you send us your IP again? I, I lost the chat when I rebooted. Sure. Yeah, no worries. Thanks. Please do. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. You're so fast. Nah. No, I, nah. <laughs> what happened? I catched invalid on slash pull block. Hey, dev team, any idea? Any thoughts on why that would might be? I will. Uh, so you proposed some random contract. Yes, Sorry. I proposed that one that we've been uh, that we've been discussing in that ticket. Oh, could you please tell me which file it is? I will try to. Yeah, give me a second. I'll paste it in the chat. Thanks. I'll try to propose time and then I will try this one. Actually, there is a two instead of three in the end in my contract that I proposed. Okay. It shouldn't matter, but still. Yeah, Joshi, the contract code shouldn't matter. You, it really should be, you should be able to propose without getting um, an unflashable block, right? Could you post your, post your deploy command? What uh, parameters you're passing to deploy besides the contract? Rashi, did you get bonded? I pasted. I'm just about to find out. Okay, can you paste the block that has that you think has your bond in it? Sure. Thanks. Thanks, Joshi.
Kelly, could you propose uh, the plan? Propose something so we can see if uh, not zippers uh, deploy goes in. Mm -hmm. Oh, Joshy. If you if you look in your logs, do you see that uh, I guess receipt of the approved block and then a transition? Uh, let me dig through. That'd be at the start, right? Yeah. yeah. Or not? I mean, sometimes that's what's ha been happening is that it doesn't always happen right away. Okay. Uh, oh, there's a, it's saved to a file, I think, right? So let me check there. Yeah. I'll report back in a second. Okay, thanks. I'm still waiting on my proposed dump. Something big went to the network. Yeah. Yeah, two. What's what's happening here? Um it's a debug message regarding merging, so it figures out which channels it is allowed to use and reuse in the merge block. Okay. Actually, I wonder if um, can be that in that uh, block that being sent by Kelly with my bones file, mm -hmm. can that be a presence of my public IP or of my public key, but I still not bonded validator because still uh, this uh, this bones file contains string of my public key can this be somehow it present in the blog but i'm not uh, bonded um you yes to be able to say that you're bonded with more certainty you have to have your pub public key um indexed well your, your public key will be indexing your air quotes wallet which points to the value you bonded with minus one so this way you're able to tell that you are considered by the DAG bonded. Sorry, can you tell me uh, again? In the, in, the, um, in the printout of your uh, block, a uh, show yes. block uh, mm -hmm. method, there will be your public key um, and it will be near your, uh, well, in the same line. It will be your bonding value minus one. So whatever you used, the value, the amount you used while generate generating the forward and bonding and bond file, mm -hmm. that will be the value minus one because the one is the fee for bonding. Actually, the problem that there is one huge line. <laughs> so I I trying to get from a V command and searching for my public key and there is just one huge line and I trying to get through all this. Uh, Invalid signature or nonce. I see 
само. Uh, some messages. Come again. No, oh, okay. I can see after in that huge line that I have in my print of V command when I open uh, my block with V, I have a huge line with a lot of messages and forgeable and stuff. And I search with my uh, for my public key. Uh, and uh, near that key, I see message invalid signature or nonce. Oh, I haven't seen that one. Ken, do you know anything about such a message? No, I'm not sure. Sorry. So hold on. Let's 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 all look together. Maybe I try to do it with another public private key pair. Can you um not super? Can you paste your public key in the chat? Let's look together. Yeah. Uh, the wallet contract allows for this invalid signature on or nonce failure, a status for this this public key, when it's trying to transfer funds. And this is a failure mode, so it w wasn't able to verify the one of the wallets, either the one that is being used as a source or the destination. I'm assuming the source because the destination is baked into the contract. And this resulted in this invalid signature on mom's value. So it seems that something's wrong with the key. Is that possible? Can be. I feel that there should be some stupid mistake <laughs> that I did. But I'm not sure what what can it be. Oh, the whole R not is not super user friendly yet. It's a feature. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Use the imagination, the creativity. Do, do, do you want to regenerate your key, or do you want me to give you one? Just. To I try will, with a different. Uh, I, I guess I will delete my uh, Arnold folder, then generate one more time the Genesis folder and get keys from there. Sounds good, but ju just remember to use your public, not the private. Uh, use the private with the runtime, but the public uses yeah, yeah, the. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's easy to mix them up. Yeah. yeah. For what it's worth, I don't see his key in the block that we thought his bond was in. Uh, that explains the invalid unslashable block. But he but, thinks he But why I see it. I can send you the file with my print of that block. Yes, please. Oh, give me a second. All right, we are at the halfway point. Tomasz, what's your status? I'm just deploying forward contract to your node. Okay, would you, uh, I wanna know what block you think your bond is in when you're ready, please. Sure.
So Dev team, can I assume, I, I, what I'm noticing is it's taking an extraordinary amount of time to get any information or to queue node to do anything. Can I assume that when I'm seeing this, node is very busy? Well, so that happens after the processing of all those channels. So like, okay. it should be done by the time it's printed, if that makes okay. sense. Yeah. So I just wonder why it takes so long to, for Could example, it, to show a block. Can I have sent in the notice in uh, Discord channel, the block sure. file? Thank you. I don't see his key in here either. <laughs> Look at the name of this this block. It starts with beef. Dimash, what's your status? Still proposing. It's okay. like third minute. Could it be that when node is busy sending blocks, it doesn't propose? Yes, absolutely. Do not lose confidence. Just give it some time. Okay. And some time. Are you able to? Sorry. Multiple minutes. Um, are you able to view the logs? I'm proposing to Kelly's node right now. So. Okay. And I'm rec receiving blocks at the same time. So I, I assume that her node is busy, maybe. Success. <laughs> Thank you, Kent. That's awesome. Thanks, Tomash. So I'm bonded. I'm, okay. I'm going to try propose no contract. Wait a minute. Are you sure you have that block? Uh, let me check. Oh, maybe that was the problem before.
No, I don't have it. So just wait a minute. I just because sure. I my node sent it. See. I just got beef. <laughs> so I'm block eighteen. All right, so you're, <clears throat> excuse me, you're still catching up because we are the block that your bond is in is block 25. Yeah. So you got to wait. How many peers do you have, guys? That's a good question. Oh, I see nine. I always forget how to do that. R5. I have nine. Uh, I forgot to run Arbiter. I was going to say, you're not here. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I will stop looking for you then. So it should all be up because I, I have saved the file. What block are you on now, Tomash? 21, and I'm struggling to get more. Yeah, you don't have many peers. I noticed this last night, team. I uh, There was a busy, a busy test net similar to what we're seeing today, and I brought up a node, and got, Casper got busy uh, requesting and receiving and adding blocks, which prevented me from um, peering. So initially I had two peers and muddled along until there was enough, um, it looked from my perspective, enough space, uh, enough um, resources to focus on peering and ended up adding more peers later, later meaning like 15 to 20 minutes into my run. Mm. No solutions at the moment are discussed for this. So. Yeah, I ticketed it, it Pavel knows. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's. I don't think it's Pavel's problem, as in comms problem. We need to approach the availability of simple actions better, or differently. Yeah, it, better, so that it, it would have been. I, I wanted in that moment the ability to say, "Node, I would rather you look for peers." Please pause.
I posted to Discord what I'm seeing, and that's what I'm still seeing. Posted to Discord. That's not channel. Thank you. And how, how many peers do you, did you say you have? Still five. Oh, you have five. Okay. Why did validator one restart? How can you tell? I just, well, it looked in the logs like it was just receiving the Genesis block. Oh, look. The beef block shows its head again. That's fun. The one should be up for yeah. more than an hour. Okay. That was Maybe I just missed it. So I think that my node thinks that it has enough peers mm -hmm. and it, it tries to request those two missing bugs, which mm -hmm. these peers don't have. But yeah, then, that's how, a real problem. <laughs> but then how, how did it find out about those blocks? <laughs> It would find out about the blocks because the blocks that you have reference those blocks, but the peers that you have do not have the blocks to send you. Right, Kemp? Actually, it seems that the peers, it's trying to connect timeout because it says continually requested missing blocks and then fail it to send a response. I think that it should be fail to send a response. I wonder if there can be a situation like like we had in BitTorrent protocol when there is uh, only, for example, when you are downloading the movie and the part of the movie available only on one node and that node is offline. Can that be a situation when the node that has a block uh, didn't succeed, didn't uh, haven't succeeded by sending that block to everyone else and shut down. And yeah. uh, you know it's just cannot get that block anywhere. Yeah, I think the problem here is that uh, it doesn't try to discover more nodes. And also that it it's stuck in this loop, it seems forever. Tomasz, what, what block are you requesting over and over? Yeah, let me paste it. Uh, this two. 
for the F. So this one and E E zero and this one. Can you validate? Are you peered to me and this validator? Are you peers with us? Oh, uh, let me check. So I think that I'm going to look like at what network connections are up because the logs may not be reliable. Okay. Okay. So Kent, we're we're investigating a scenario where Tamash has a node, he has limited peers. He is requesting this block here, 40F and EE0 repeatedly, but the peers he's connected with don't do not appear to be able to um, respond to that request. So we're trying to investigate whether or not he's truly peered to this this node which is mine and this node which is one of our validators but he's stuck because he cannot get either of these blocks that so i guess dude can you run uh does it show up on the metrics do, do we still have that does it show up on the metrics with the request or the what, oh no, what like the, the nodes that um Tomash is geared to. Uh, yeah, so he's looking. So okay. actually my, my node just failed on heap space. It seems to me that <laughs> it seems to me that uh, in this loop when it tries to repeatedly uh, request the missing blocks, that uh, there is some memory leak that uh, on each repeat some memory is retained. Perhaps. Because it doesn't, it does, and it does nothing else. It just seems to try to get new blocks. Tomas, what default timeout value have you set? Oh, I left it to default. Uh, default what's... is six thousand. Is that right? Ah, when I used six thousands, I had uh, very few peers either. Now I use uh, sixty thousand, and it's much better. Yeah, that I've, I've noticed that too. Again, I've noticed um, team that if node is busy, busy meaning requesting and receiving blocks and also simultaneously trying to peer the need to um, have a very large default timeout is important. Otherwise you are not successful in getting peers. Maybe we should, sorry, maybe we should change the default timeout. To a million billion, yeah. No, uh, 30 seconds. <laughs> okay. Because six seconds is optimistic. It's TCP doesn't give you six. It gives you more. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll, we'll take it that. All right. So, Tomas, were you able to see who you were peered to? I'm just trying to figure out. The note is still running. It's still trying to reverse the missing box. Even though it's through those exceptions. Yeah. Actually, I don't understand why if the note is busy and uh, it um, um, it answers the request for a bonding for a establishing a connection for uh, such a long time. If there is, I have a, a, a lot of free CPU time, a lot of memory, and uh, my network is not clogged. Hmm. Why is it? Why it should be? <laughs> yeah. Tomasz, what is your node address? Are you 3C42? Um, let me check. Sure. 
and day D26 A E. Oh, okay. So I've posted oh. to chat. Um, so I wonder, so on my screen, I see that I see that Tamash is asking for one of the blocks that he needs. This is the block. This is Tamash's node. And then I have this. I'm not, my node is not successfully streaming it to you. So you can ask over and over again, and you're not going to get it from me. But it does appear that we're peered. Tomas, are your ports all, all right? Um, yeah, I think there's nothing. Uh, would, this, uh, would this error be on my side, Dom, or on his side? The error you're saying is on your side, but it's in the, as in it's reported on your side, but it's something with the communication between the nodes. And that's streaming, so it's more involved. There's there's more steps, so it's hard to tell by only this information which part failed. Okay. All right. Uh, maybe someone of us should try uh, benchmarking network connections with for example uh, for example iperf uh, 2 does someone uh, have it or have linux box so yeah. we can establish iperf uh, yeah i have iperf okay i'm running a server um well, you will measure the bandwidth. Yeah, at least. Yeah, sure, I can find out. All right, we have about five minutes left. Um, so let's start to recap what we've observed. Um, brought up a test net, added peers to the test net, observed them catching up to the state in various degrees of success, depending on how many peers they got. We recognize that if you don't get many peers to begin with, your catch up is slower than if you had more peers. Mm -hmm. We have not been successful in bonding new validators, meaning that uh, from their perspective, they contributed, they deployed their bonds files to the network, um, were able to see a block where they imagined that, or they believed their bond would to be where their public key. So in Zipper's case, he, he was not able to find his public key in that presumed block. In Tamasha's case, uh, I have to go back. Actually, I need to check to see if we saw your key, but you didn't. You never got the block, so that you couldn't be a validator until you get that block, and you can't get the block because you're short on peers and you're making requests and not getting them from the peers that you have. We recognize that the default timeout is probably too low and need to increase that to be more successful at peering. Um, and we have an idea to do some benchmarking on node with iperf. We got a early on, or at some point, Tomash, right? You, you got an out of memory error. Yes, and now I'm getting lots of other errors. What kind of errors are you getting? Um, I'm getting rejected in the cushion exception a lot of time in a Okay. Oh. Okay. Anything else we should capture? Um, we do observe block merging happening. We did not observe any block finalizations beyond what we see in the Genesis block. Let's capture the last 
Uh, so Thomas, are you running as a server? Yes, I am. So there shouldn't be uh, S key in iperf. Uh, yeah, in your case, yeah. Okay. Uh, leave the uh, bootstrap node up for a while. Yeah, we'll leave it up for a while. Uh, I just got everything finally upgraded and uh, ready awesome. to go. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Uh, we will leave it up. It will, you know, it'll probably be up successfully for the next three to four hours. Great. All right, and here, oh, one of those loan blocks. Here is the network, the blockchain as my node sees it. All right, anything else that we should capture team before we wrap on this call? The loan block. The loan block. It, it's still there. It is, but we know that, well, we understand that that's misleading, right? If we looked, we would see that it has parents. True, but still it shouldn't happen. Okay. But yeah, it might point to other stuff which might be important. So I would say it needs to be at least figured out why it's not wor why it's behaving this way. And no finalization. No finalization. I, uh, for what it's worth, I ran a test net uh, yesterday from uh, four in the afternoon my time. There will be no, yeah, there will be no never... finalization. Will there be? Because there are, what, five nodes, right? Mm -hmm. Is that too many? Well, only two are proposing. Three. Three, oh. we, we, if, if there are six with you, mm -hmm. then three are proposing half, so there will be no finalization. I see. So if I if I ran a test net and everybody proposed, I would do finalization. Yep. OK. That'll be a fun try for later. Kent, you were saying something. Yeah, so Paul and I were debugging some block store stuff, and we possibly might have the reasoning behind that, that one block. And basically our validation for missing blocks was looking at the block store instead of the DAG. And so some blocks wouldn't get flagged as a miss. Um, some blocks would have missing dependencies, but the validation algorithm wouldn't say that it had missing dependencies and it would continue um, being added. So that, that, that could be why this is happening, but we'll have to look a bit further. Cool. Okay, we are at the, we are one minute past the top of the hour. We need to wrap up. Um, Tomas and Nutzipper, are you guys still doing something that you're aware of? Uh, yeah, we're trying to measure the bandwidth between okay. our nodes. Do you want me to leave this room open, or can you, can you guys, do you want to guys want to continue offline? Uh, I believe we can uh, we can go offline. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Certainly appreciate you being here and for your effort here. And we will try again next week. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. See ya. See ya. Thanks. Bye.